Hello and welcome to one of our how-to videos. I've really made this video for our own customers, but I'm sure it'll help other people out there as well. Um, it's how to back up or export information uh, to a USB stick, either for yourself or for evidence purposes for the police. So what you want to do first of all is you really want a USB stick uh, and put it into the DVR or NVR. So there's a, a USB port on the front of the machine and also one on the back. Uh, so wherever you have a free a free space, start by putting it in there first. What we want to do now is using our mouse, we want to go into the, the menus of the, the DVR here. So what we'll do is we'll right click the mouse and you'll see a menu here. So what we want to do is go into the menu. Now depending on the age of your DVR, uh, and also how it's set up. Some of them don't have the shortcut pattern that you see here. Some have the sort of, you have to log in using a proper password. Uh, so going back in there, I'll just use the pattern uh, just to speed things up. So we'll put a pattern in here. Now you'll see 10 icons here. The main two we're going to be using is really going to be playback and export. There's two ways you can do the backup. Uh, so I'll show you both ways. So first of all, we'll start using the playback. So we'll go into the menu. Now what you see here on the right hand side is these are your cameras, this is your month, and down at the very bottom here, this is your, your 24 hour clock. So what you want to do is select your camera that you want to download. So we'll just say camera six. Again, if you wanted to add more, you just tick the boxes or just select them all. It's up to you. So I'm just going to select camera number six here. Whatever it's recorded, I'll highlight in blue. Uh, if it was last last month, you just knock the arrow back there. So we'll just go forward and we'll download the 3rd of January. So camera number six, 3rd of January. So we'll just click on that. Now again, the time bar's lit up here because it's saying it's recorded for 24 hours. So what we'll do is we'll start the play which is down the very bottom here if you're not sure what they are the icons just put your mouse over it it tells you exactly what they do as you see okay so click on play now let's just say our incident started at 11 o'clock so i'm just going to skip the mouse across there as you can see so let's just say somebody's breaking in here right now what you can do is, if you want to download that bit of the evidence, down the bottom left here, you'll see a wee pair of scissors, and it's just come up, start clipping. So if you start clipping, okay, so the breaking's happening now, something's going on. So I'll just put a short clip on this for us, uh, so we're not hanging about too long here. Okay, so they've now run off, see? What you want to do is stop the clipping using the same pair of scissors. Okay. So now what you want to do is right click your mouse and you'll get a message up here and it says some, there are some video clips to be saved. Do you want to save them now? So the answer to this is going to be yes because we're going to back it up. Now, you're, in my case, I've only got one camera, but if you had multiple cameras, they'd all start listing down here. Okay. So what you want to do is tick the box of the camera or cameras you want to download and click export all down the bottom. Okay. So the files will appear here. My USB is at the top. Okay. And all you do is go to the very bottom and click export. Okay. So you want to export video and log. Click OK. As soon as it's complete, We'll get a message to say it's completed. There you go. Export finished. So all you do is click OK. And then down to exit. OK, so that's the first way you can do it. There are, like I say, there is a second way. So I'll show you that as well. So what we're going to do is go back into the menu. So right click the mouse. Menu again. And this time we're going to go into export. Okay, so it's a little bit different. So what you see here is these are the cameras of your machine. This is the time and the date 
that the DVRs record onto basically a hard drive space. Working your way down, the start time and the end time. These are really the date and the time you want to start the download and end the download to your USB stick. So again, what we'll do is we'll take off all the cameras we don't need and we'll just select camera number six. If you want an extra camera, so you can just tick the boxes. Just do one camera. So we'll just say the hap incident happened on the 3rd and it started at 11 o'clock and it ended on the 3rd. Bear with me. I'll just put a couple of minutes on this. Okay, so it happened for, and it lasted five minutes. So all we do is we search the files. And again, it brings them up here. Uh, so what you do is you just select all, down to the bottom, export all. All the files are listed here in the player. And all you do, again, uh, make sure USB sticks in there as well, that you do see it or it's not going to work. Just click export, video and log, click OK. And once the bar has reached the top, we should get a message to say it's downloaded. OK, so export's finished. So click OK. And down the bottom, you see back, back, back. Exit. So that's it. That's you downloaded to a USB stick. All you need to do now is take your USB stick out and either keep it or hand it to the, the correct person. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.